top of the morning, y'all. So, we're headed uh, to UPS this way. I just slept back this way. And um, got some coffee. That should get me rolling. I feel like I slept pretty good. Slept long, but... Still don't know how I feel. So I have to have my coffee, you know? So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any, uh... What do you call it? Uh, time lapse on this trip. charger is somewhere um, I don't know if I brought that box with me where the charger is so we'll see if I find the charger then then you'll know because there will be a time lapse so Kind of taking the back road here. I could have gone on the freeway, but I'll just show you. Let's ride out the street. You're gonna have to check in. To the right, I'm gonna check in, and then about a mile down the road is where the UPS yard is, and that's where I'll be getting my um, trailer from. And of course, we're about to hit a red light. There it is. Oh, there it is. So yeah, let's get to UPS, check in, check out, and hammer down. Well. Here once, looking for our trailer. But of course, not here. Nine nine two eight two one. It's gonna be the number. That's more likely gonna be just a UPS trailer. So nine nine two eight two one nine one seven nine nine one seven one eight. As every other time for me, my trailer isn't here, so I gotta go and uh, drive back across the lot because I don't have their number to that dispatch. So, it's about half a mile down the road, not a big deal, but. Still. Kind of annoying because they said it's ready, it's ready there. So if you tell me the trailer is here, I'm gonna expect it to be here, right? I mean, common sense. But nonetheless, not gonna win our day. So I'm gonna go uh, back, let them know, and then they're gonna get somebody to pull it out.
always busy. It's the before nobody's ever fueling. Uh, yeah, stopping to uh, give me a salad. This should be good. like 
here. So I've been talking to this OD guy, uh, Old Dominion, and uh, he's got a buddy up ahead, I guess, as a crash. And as well, it's uh, 60 mile an hour gusts. So as much as I would like to show you guys, yeah, I'm on marker 233. As much as I would like to show you guys how it looks to get blown over, um, I'm gonna take this detour. The uh, Highway 30 actually goes right around I-80 and into Laramie. So this guy and I are gonna take it. We've kind of been talking on the CB, just, you know, uh, whatever. But he got a phone call, so we're not talking anymore. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stick behind him unless he lets me pass, but I told him I'll just stay behind him, it's great. So, uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it gets down there. I might I might try to do a time lapse, but I doubt it, it's really dark. And there's literally no, not even a star in the sky. But, uh, part of the blurry screen, I was uh, touching my greasy fingers all over the phone, and there we have it. But yeah, so here's the 30. Walcott 30 and it is showing that it's uh, close to high profile vehicles so yeah we're just gonna go around take it easy it adds about 15 20 minutes to my route which is not a big deal so That's the trailer. So, what the brown do for you? The 300 lots. So, let's, uh, let's go find this thing. It's already two hours behind as always. But I got to get a couple hours of sleep. So, I guess it can't be that bad. Uh, okay, well, let's go find this thing. Oh, this is the trailer. Man. I feel like a port driver. I also feel like I'm gonna blow the tires off these wheels. Recaps, oh boy. Shoot. All the zip ties are there. Boy. Why does even UPS run recaps on their chassis containers? Fifth wheel, it's good. Look at these airlines. Containers don't have side blinkers. Get that running light. And the chassis. Check the gear. Or not the gear, but whatever. Clearing slides are working. And the chassis is brand new. Next, put the gear up. Yeah, it's 
I made it to about Johnstown, Colorado, and I'm in for a treat. If you look up ahead, it's just like gray because it's all the dirt and the dust and everything. But if you look behind me over here, you see it's all blue. And look right ahead. How crazy is that? So far the wind is not that bad. Uh, it's a little pushy, but more so coming from the from the nose uh, north, like south. Well, I don't know. It's weird. It's like from the west and the north at the same time, going south. Okay, See you later, bud. I know uh, Elk Mountain and all that crap is messed up right now, that's for sure. So I'm going to take that Highway 30 again. I'm not a, that big a fan of it, but I'm going to take it anyway. So. park over here somewhere but there's our trailer right there oh. so yeah let's hook up to that and head down to uh Lake Troop uh, just drop my other trailer off over at the UPS and Lathrop traffic wasn't that bad which is always great I got there within an hour and some change and um, now I'm just headed back to the yard. So back to the yard and then go home and probably just sleep for uh, 16, 17 hours. So yeah, 
right, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else to uh, to this vlog. I guess it's pretty much over. Next one should be on Tuesday. Right now it is Thursday. So like uh, six days or so. But we'll see if I find anything else in between. Maybe like a Utah run or something. I'll hop on that. But otherwise, I'll probably just be at home. And uh, I might even make a video in between. And then if it works out, you guys are going to love this one. Because I'm excited. So... Stay tuned for that. Later.